For a very long time, I was getting dirty cracked eggs almost every day, and a lot of them were really unusable when the hens didn't eat them first. So what changed? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share all my secrets on getting clean eggs just like these ones right from the coop. Let's go. All right, so my absolute best tip that I can give you is to use a roll away nesting box. Now, I haven't always used this and I still have managed to get eggs that are pretty clean for the most part when I implement the other methods I'm gonna share with you below. However, this one thing works really, really well for getting clean eggs. Now, this one is from Hen Gear. It is a medium-sized nesting box. It was super easy to install, and as soon as I installed it in the coop, the hens just took to it, and I didn't really have to teach them how to use the rollaway nesting box at all. I will leave this one in the description of this video below in case you're interested in checking it out, but it definitely keeps my eggs much cleaner. Not perfect, but much cleaner than they used to be without the rollaway nesting box, and for a lot less effort and work than I've had to put in before. Now, if you don't want to invest in a rollaway nesting box, then the next best tip I can give you is to collect your eggs daily and collect them first thing in the morning. All right, and this is because the hens will lay their eggs throughout the day or overnight or first thing in the morning or whenever it is that your chickens lay their eggs. And no, it's not always first thing in the morning, but first thing in the morning gives you a chance to get out all of your eggs before they start playing around with them throughout the day. All right, they have, you know, nasty feet and they track in all the dirt and then they start pecking at the eggs and cracking the eggs and all of the other stuff. So you really want to prevent them from getting in there throughout the day. If you collect them on a regular basis and don't give them a chance to actually mess around with the eggs, then that will prevent your eggs from getting dirty and ensure you have better clean eggs on a regular basis. Now, another great way to ensure that you have clean eggs is to keep your bedding in your chicken run pretty clean and dry, all right? The worst thing that you can have is a wet, muddy chicken coop and chicken run, and then all of your eggs are just, you know, being cladded in all of the stuff that chickens pick up from their feet, all right? That is the last thing you want. You can see that even though the chickens have laid some droppings on here, all right, the entire area is pretty clean and dry. I don't have any major problems, even in front of their water here. It's not like a huge mess. And that is because I use this stuff, all right? And this is like the pine bark mulch, all right? Not like little shredded mulch, but actual um, big chunks of pine bark. And I just use that in the entire coop. Um, every year I scrape out all of the nasty material, all the composted material, and I use that on the garden and the food forest. And then I put bags of this stuff, all right? Which really helps to keep it dry. Not only that, but I take wheelbarrows of excess garden material and I put them in here as well so that it's constantly absorbing water and the chickens aren't making a mess. Okay, so next up is to free range your chickens or at least let your chickens out of the coop sometimes, all right? You don't have to do this the entire day, but letting them out really does help in getting them away from their eggs, all right? An animal is going to be an animal and find whatever they can to mess with if they're in confinement, all right? And that is the last thing that you want. You do not want your eggs being messed with. So by letting your chickens out to free range, not only are they not playing with their eggs inside the coop, all right, but they're also getting um, all of that nutrition to lay eggs with, right? They are dusting off their feet so that it's not just being tracked inside the coop. All right, they're pecking away at stuff. They have something else to do versus just messing with their eggs, cracking them open, and doing other stuff that we do not want. Now, I will tell you guys that we use an automatic door coop. All right, this is the one that we have. Um, it's set to open in the morning and close at night, right after and right before sunrise and sunset. Um, and that way, I don't have to physically let them out. Now, our door to our chicken coop currently is open just because I've been working in here um, and filming videos for you guys and all of that stuff. Um, but generally, the doors to the chicken coop are closed. All right, we have a nice set of double doors on here. And that little door over there is where all the chickens go in and out in the mornings and afternoons. All right, so let's say you've done all of that, you've let them out to free range, you give them a rollaway nesting box, you know, you've done all the things to not get dirty eggs, but you're still getting dirty eggs. Can you actually eat dirty eggs? Well, yeah, you can, all right? You're not eating the egg shell, you're eating the part on the inside of the egg. So as long as the egg doesn't have any cracks on it where it's actually like absorbing the bacteria, then you can wash them and get all of the bacteria and all the nasty stuff off of them. Um, of course, after you wash them, they need to go in the fridge because the bloom has been removed. Um, so that needs to be in the fridge so that they don't absorb any other bacterial through the eggshell. Or if you're really uncomfortable eating those eggs, then you can feed them to the dog, which is what we do. Um, our dog eats four eggs a day, including the eggshells, of course, after they've been washed and all the nasty stuff removed off of them. Um, 
although we don't have that problem anymore, but in the past we've also fed them back to the chickens. All right, so if you have an excess of eggs and you don't want to eat dirty eggs, um, you can scramble them up, feed them right back to the chickens, and it's an excellent source of nutrients for them. So then what happens if your eggs are dirty and you're not really sure if they're still good? Well, you can always do a float test if you're really unsure. They should still be good if you collect them on a daily basis or every other day basis. Um, even when I collect them and it's really hot outside, then the eggs are usually still pretty good. But if you want to do a float test, here's how to do it. You fill a bowl with nice clean water, you place the egg in question inside the bowl, and if it floats, the egg is bad. If it sinks all the way to the bottom, that is as fresh as it can get. Now if it tilts on its axis just a little bit, then it is slightly old but still good. However, what you really want is eggs that sink all the way to the bottom, and those eggs should be good to go. So how long can clean, unwashed eggs just like this straight from the chicken coop how long can those be left on the countertop well the answer is about two weeks or so all right that is the longest i feel comfortable leaving my eggs on the countertop of course i put them away in the pantry because we have a giant dog and he <laughs> loves to eat eggs that we've left on the countertop all right so i take this entire thing i collect my eggs and then i put them inside the pantry on a shelf or something they are shelf stable for about two weeks or so in the refrigerator, they last a lot longer. They can last up to three months once they've been washed and refrigerated. But outside, in the open, about two weeks. <laughs> so let's say dirty eggs aren't your problem because you're not even getting eggs yet, all right? I've made an entire another video on what to do if you're not getting any eggs, how to fix it, what to do about it, if it's really a problem, all of that good stuff. I will leave it here on the screen next to me. Go and check that out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.